Hello everyone. Uh, today we have a workshop with uh, Jerry Barry, uh, my student here, to teach him how to carve his uh, name seal. And as a demo, I will do a, a real commission uh, from another customer, Ken, in San Diego, uh, uh, with his permission. Actually, Ken has written me a very nice uh, email uh, to uh, introduce him about this seal. And uh, the seal we're going to do is a, a Dice Dharma name, uh, meaning Great Ocean or Great Sea household, uh, Householder <laughs> of Great Sea, uh, or Da Hai, meaning uh, Great Ocean. The uh, water or the uh, ocean is the lowest. Uh, place in, in the earth, right, on earth. Uh, in Taoist thinking, the highest goodness is like water. It doesn't compete, but uh, uh, prevail, you know, uh, like water. So uh, the highest goodness is like water. It, that's the Taoist uh, teaching. And uh, the great ocean is the, uh, the biggest, you know, the the, the representing the, the water, so that's the name. Uh, it's a humble, humble name, not <laughs> a uh, uh, a uh, what do you say? This letter. Maybe it's not egotistical. Egotistical, yeah. Uh, so we're going to do the uh, carving, and uh, I have made the a I have made a design, which is a seal script. Um, cursive, uh, a small seal script. And uh, uh, meanwhile, we'll, uh, Jerry will work on his uh, last name, uh, Bai, from uh, uh, Barry. So you can follow me. At this. We have like a coupons to start with. We, we cut out one stamp from the printout. And this has to be a computer uh, printer with a laser toner, you know, not the not the inkjet, but uh, the old-fashioned uh, or old uh, toner printer, toner ink. So we kind of align the design and uh, rock it. Yeah, you can you can also do that. Just uh, stand on it and uh, uh, fold it, and you make uh, yeah you make a, a very tight surface uh, on the surface, and we're going to make a rubbing, right? And this is the liquid we're going to use. It's called acetone. It's a nail polish remover, so it should be not very harmful, no poison. Yes. So just uh, pour a little bit. Alcetin on the back of the design and then press with thumb. You only have 10 seconds, I have to do it fast like that and uh, lift it before it gets dry so you have a transfer on the. Yeah, you did it perfectly. That's better than my design now on the stone. As if I made a print on the stone from the computer. And I use this clamp to hold the stone because the stone is not a flat uh, bottom or, or a top. It's e easier to do it on this clamp like this. So uh, let me give you my small knife. You can use this one and I use the medium one. So let me focus on on your stone and my stone, so we can go. Um, you hold the like a pencil. You hold the knife like pencil, and uh, uh, with your your ring finger, uh, hold against the, the stone mm -hmm. uh, while using your your thumb and the uh, uh, index finger. I think mostly with the thumb and the middle finger mm -hmm. to press forward. So this this too holds like a brick. Uh, let me do one stroke for you to to show you. Uh, sure. So you, 
the notice that uh, the there's a coarse and a smooth side. Which this outside is is smooth. The inside is uh, so I do I, I constantly turn the 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 clamp to find the, the correct side. If I you know you you carve along the uh, edge right. So first of all the my the, my right side. So I carve this direction from from the top down. Then I have to turn this to the, this direction to make sure both sides are are flat uh, are smooth. You understand? Yes. Because every stroke has a coarse this small angled uh, side or outside I call it. Good question. Um, not too deep, just uh, enough to take out the white. Uh, don't have to be very deep. instead of the, the knife. But it's also very important to keep it stable sometimes. Yeah. Just find the best uh, way to do it. in China uh, do their own seal. <laughs> I, I have no idea who else besides me teaching seal engraving <laughs> online or in person. Because it's a very special art form in China. Uh, only very uh, few artists who does this. Uh, you have to understand the ancient script, uh, the calligraphy and uh, art design to it's like a craft also you know you have to know how to do the carving. But I really like it. I have done three hundred to uh, uh, nearly four hundred of them now. Three fifty are in the book in the collection in the ebook you can find online at our uh, website Blue Heron Arts. Uh, see various de uh, design styles in the book. There's a link in the book to ebook to every seal so you can uh, the with with video like this you can it's like a index video catalog. So we, we round up the edges and you can make folds uh, later with uh, uh, locking or you know just carving to make it look like a erosion eroded bronze or something like rubbing, stone rubbing. So not only the corners but the edges too. The edges too, okay. yeah. Just make a, a slope, like a stage, a step. Right. Yeah. But I think we, we call it a bevel. Bevel, yeah, yeah. bevel, bevel in Photoshop. <laughs> bevel, bevel. Well, bevel in, in, in yeah. wood, wood, woodworking also. Woodworking, oh, bevel, yeah. Bevel. That's a, Thank you for teaching me the English term. And you can make a f intended faults, which is like a chip, chipping, uh, you know. Uh, I will help you with that. This is the hardest part sometimes, to make it more natural, you know, like a antique. 
so I think I'm almost done. Check with my design, see if anything missing. Just polish, we call fine tuning. Make uh, everything look uh, smooth, even, but not you know like mechanically even, <laughs> just balanced even. Yeah. How do you call it? Yeah. To. Notice the 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 end. I mean the beginning and ending to be uh, no sharp uh, trace of the knife. Just round it up, you know. Just like an even to round. Yeah, look at the round the corners. And Okay, we are going to make an initial imprint. We call this the first imprint depression or first imprint. Okay, you can yeah, just tap a little bit. In the winter, this tends to be darkened. And uh, summer, I use this pad. So I'll give you later after I use it. Uh, we can blow some uh, hot. Uh, moisture to reduce the granny to reduce the grains. Okay, now I can do this. You do it on felt? Uh, I don't do it on felt, it's too soft. You can use a magazine or something. Uh, I'll give you this when, I, um, when I'm done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you got yeah, something yeah, else there. Yeah, okay. yeah, I have the rubber here. I just need to make a quick one. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, you can use this for your, just put it under the paper. Just under the paper, right? Yeah. Okay, now, let me clean this up. So I can see the stroke. Uh, yeah, uh, that's sideways, so uh, you can look at 10, uh, okay. 90 degrees and just okay. yeah, compare. Okay. You can do it again with this. Make sure the orientation. We'll we'll mark the orientation with the signature on the left side. Normally, uh, that will help. Okay, I will do my signature on the left side. Uh, you can just carve uh, any you know, mark on the left side uh, to mark this. Uh, and this stone has different sides. So this is skin side is the left. So I cannot really. I, I like to keep that. So I may just do it on this side, facing the user. So I'll do my signature here. I'll just put a small one. My studio name, as I use the uh, signature on my paintings. <laughs> uh, yeah, just mark the front. Usually, either this side or this side facing the user on the left side is the where you put. You can you can put something on the left just to mark the orientation. Where my where yeah. my thumb's gonna be? Yeah, yeah, anything. <laughs> you can, yeah, just cut uh, you know uh, your initial English initial. So that's the uh, finished uh, seal project. We make a final statement.
Okay. Um, I hope uh, everybody enjoyed watching this uh, video. And uh, if you need uh, uh, carving materials like a stone and uh, uh, carving tools, you can go to our website, blueheronarts.com. Uh, we have a set of uh, three carving uh, knives and also the giant one, these uh, extra large ones. Uh, so you can choose. And we also have student grade, in, very in expensive steel uh, instead of uh, hard alloy metal knives. Uh, and uh, you can uh, join our online class. We also have a discussion forum on that subject matter on that subject. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. <laughs>